Hello and welcome. My name is Kalyan Verma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tab set component using Excelsius 2008. The tab set component in Excelsius 2008 allows the users to click through the tabs and interact with individual components within a particular tab. So let's go ahead and start it. Let's import our Excel model first. I have one ready, so I'm going to click on the hot button on the toolbar to import the spreadsheet. Select the tab set spreadsheet, which I named it as tab set. Click open. And we have the data. So I have the revenues by product data for all the regions. And we're going to create a series of charts for different regions in different tabs. Let's have a look at the tab set component before going ahead and creating these charts in individual tabs. So for that, let's drag and drop the tab set components. In the components panel, the tab set component is under containers, tab set, drag and drop it onto your canvas. Now if you observe, <coughs> I can click on two places within the tab set component. One is on the tabs, which will select the entire tab set component, and the other on the canvas, which is a mini canvas for tab one. So if I add a new tab, the new tab will have its own canvas. So how do I add it? If you observe, if I click on the tab, you see a plus and a minus buttons. So if you click a plus button, every time you click a plus button on the tab set component, it will prompt you to give it a label. In our case, I just give it tab two. Click OK. So I have two tabs. Now I'm on tab two. I have my own canvas for tab two. If I switch back to tab one, tab one has its own canvas. The best place to uh, demonstrate this is to go to the object browser. If you go to the object browser and expand the tab set, you see I have two canvases. So I can drag and drop as many components as I want onto individual uh, canvases and interact with them using the tabs on the top. So if I want to change the order of the tab set canvases, I can always click on any of the canvas and use the up arrow or down arrow within the object browser, which will rearrange my tabs. So if I click on the up arrow and observe tab two, it will shift to position one. <coughs> so with this, you can use, you can rearrange your tabs. Let's go ahead and give our tabs names. So if you look at the properties panel, you have to, uh, no, you notice that there are two properties panel, one for the entire tab set component and the other for the individual tab. So if you see, I, if you see, uh, I click when I click on the tab, I see the tab set component properties. But if I click on the canvas of the tab, I see the canvas properties. So in order to change the name of the tab, you should always be on the canvas properties, but not on the tab set comp component properties. So I click on the canvas of tab two, I go to the properties and I can bind this to any of my cells in the Excel model, which will give it a name. In this case, I'm going to bind it to the first cell, which is North America and so on and so forth. I'm going to add a few more tabs, which say tab three, tab four and so on. I already have a file ready, so I'm gonna open it now. So I've added all the tabs and if you see, I've binded the cells to the region names. So I have one, two, three, four, five tabs and five different canvases for those tabs. So in this example, we're going to create a pie chart for North America. So I click on the North America tab and then click on the canvas for North America. Go to my components panel. Since it's a pie chart, we go under charts, 
click a pie and drag and drop it onto your canvas. Now I have my pie chart for North America. Let's bind it to the data. I'm going to give it a title of North America, the region name, and a subtitle for revenues by product. And bind the data, that is the values, as the North America values, and give the labels, bind them to the product names. In our case, they are product A, B, C, D, and E. So I have the data for North America. Let's go ahead and do it for Latin America. For Latin America, we're going to use a line chart. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a line chart. Give it a title. Give it a subtitle. And then bind your data. I'm going to add a series here. Give it a name bind it then the y values as the dollar amounts and the x labels as the product names similarly you can go ahead and do it for europe asia australia and pacific so if i go ahead and preview it i should be seeing the latin america first because that's what i've selected and previewed it if I go back to North America, you should see the North America pie chart. Similarly, whatever components you put in Europe, Asia, Australia, and Pacific, you should see those individual components to interact with. So that's uh, how you create a tabset component and create your individual mini dashboards within your tabset components. Thank you for watching.